Okay, so I've gotten a couple uh, requests lately on how I pour my uh, or cast my molds for my uh, custom fish and lures. And so I figured I'd uh, make a video just on the process and show how uh, easy and quick it is. And so for this video, it's going to be made out of plaster, plaster of Paris. Uh, and, you know, you can get this at, uh, at Lowe's for about nine bucks. It's about a four pound little box of it. And on here, it says it sets hard in 20 to 30 minutes. But uh, I generally let it let it dry for about 45 minutes to an hour. And then uh, aside from that, you need water, large measuring cup, spoon, little container to uh, cast the mold in and one or you know a couple of the uh the lures or plastic lures you want to make uh mold out of you know it doesn't even have to be plastic could be hard mold whatever but uh, that's just what i'm using and so uh let's get started and uh, so for for uh, using the plaster uh you know there's instructions on the back showing you how much to use and you know how much water to mix with it and whatnot but after making uh you know quite a few of them now um, I just pull it by sight and I just basically pour what I what I know to be the you know a proper amount and so I'll go ahead and pour this in there you definitely want to make sure you have enough in there uh, more more than enough is better than not having enough because uh, if you don't have enough to start with you definitely uh, can basically ruin a mold because you don't get the depth of the plaster enough so when you do sink the the lure in you don't want it touching to be shallow enough to where it touches the bottom because that won't give you a true uh, a good casting and so uh, definitely more the better all right so now what i do in terms of the water is all you know i'll pour a certain amount in not not all of it of course and then i'll mix that to start with uh, i generally like uh, for my consistency wise like a uh, creamy peanut butter uh, some people like to do it uh, a little more liquidy, but I tend to see that when you uh, notice, rather, when you do it more liquid than uh, more of a less of a paste, more liquid, the, when you set the lure in, uh, you push it down, it ends up floating up because there isn't enough uh, consistency to hold the lure down. So I, I like to start it very th relatively thick, again, like a creamy peanut butter, because that allows the uh, the lure to stay stuck in the mold or in, in the plaster without floating up and again if, if you do decide to use a more uh, liquid uh, more liquid consistency it's not you know, that it's not going to work right it will work it'll just uh, take a little longer again for the plaster to set hard and then you'll also have to you know make sure that you keep bumping down the, the lure to uh, keep it sunk in there uh, if you do again choose to go liquid you could just pour it and then let it sit for a little bit while the uh, plaster hardens a little bit further or a little more and then you can sink it in same, same process but uh, you definitely want to you know you dig in there just like with anything you're mixing flour whatever uh, mix it until you get the desired consistency make sure you scrape off the bottom to get all the all the powder all the plaster off the bottom make sure it's all completely mixed in with the uh the water and then again very my desired consistency is and I'll, I'll repeat it you know creamy peanut butter is what i i generally like to go with now some people i i have seen it to where they'll they'll glue or tape the the lure down on the bottom and then pour over it uh i don't like to do that because i can't see what the tail's doing it you know if you pour if it's too heavy it could pull it down uh, so I generally like to again pour the plaster first and then uh, put the the lure in after so I know exactly the shape uh, and direction the tail's going because that's to me the most you know it's the most important part it's what gives the lure the action you know this is where you know most of the action you know your hook goes in comes out about here so all the action is in the tail it's not up here it's in the tail so the looser that is and the better the tail, if it's straight down, the more it's going to wag back and forth as you pull it through the water. If it's further back, it's just going to sit up there and do the, not, not much action, not much like a real fish. If you pull it down, the water is going to be pulling through it, and so it's going to make it wag a lot more, give it a lot, more, a lot better action. Okay, so we're, all right, we're looking good there. Actually, I'm going to give it a little more water. It's a little thick still. It's a little more water. Get that all mixed in thoroughly.
looks good. That's better. Okay, now we'll dump the plaster into the little mold here. Get that all in there. All right, so that's good. That's all in there. And now, uh, I don't know if you can see it, but in there, all these little, little black dots, those are all air bubbles. We definitely don't want air bubbles in there because what will happen is as you... You know, if there's air bubbles and you push the lure down, they could be they could get attached to the plastic, and that creates uh, little flaws or impurities in that in that mold. And then, as you you know, once it's dried and you do start pouring the plastic into there, it'll actually go into those cavities, and you'll just have a lot of trimming. And if it's on the edge of the of the mold, in inside the, the mold for for the lure, it actually chip you could chip the sides, and it just doesn't look very good. So I, you know, I pounded on the table a little bit vibrate it just to get the bubbles out we'll do this for about a minute or so it's looking really good right now consistency is good and you can still see the bubbles coming out so we'll keep going for a little bit longer Looking good. Looking good. All right, they're not too many. They should have all come up by now. I mean, you could see a, a couple little black spots in there, but those are on the top, away from where the, uh, the lure is going to be set in. So I think we're good now. We'll go ahead and sink these in. Okay, so now to sink or set the, uh, the lures in, I always start with the tail first. So I'll start with the tail and I'll, I'll, I'll stick that straight down so I can I know exactly what that direction looks like and what that mold's gonna do to it. Okay, and then you set it in. Make sure that everything is sunk completely in. And then I will actually take a tongue depressor and fill in right up against that tail and right up against the body to make sure that that mold is going to be nice and set properly. All right, that one, that one's about done. And don't worry if some of the plaster comes over the top of the the body of the of the lure because we're we're going to end up sanding the top surface down so that everything's flush and even. All right, let's do this second one. Same thing. Set that one down in there. Make sure that tail is straight. Cool. Use the tongue depressor again. Cool. And uh, we'll let this sit for about uh, 45 minutes to an hour, and then uh, we'll come back and remove it out of the uh, uh, out of this little container and start the next setup. Okay, so it's been about uh, 45 minutes since we uh, poured the plaster into the mold. And uh, now what we'll do is you just kind of open it up a little bit, spread it apart from the, the plaster a little bit, and then give it a just a couple hits down there, and it just flies right out, easy as can be. Uh, and then just take my finger and kind of pull those uh, two lures out of there. Very easy, simple. They don't stick. When you do the initial pour, this one's taking a little bit more effort to get out, but eventually it'll come right out. And there you have it, your two uh, perfectly set molds from the existing lures you had. Now, as you can see, there's a, there's a lot of rough area around here. And what I generally do is you could either take sandpaper or I take a straight edge, like a razor blade, whatnot. You, you know, a regular straight edge, <coughs> hard straight edge will do. And I just pull it and I start flattening the whole surface out to get uh, a, a nice even level surface to pour onto. And uh, I'll go ahead and do this and I'll come back with the, uh, the finished uh, the finished ended down piece here in a few moments. 
Okay, so I have this all sanded down and smooth and uh, pretty level. Uh, this is what it looks like uh, when it's all done. And uh, again, very simple, very easy process to uh, to cast your own uh, cast your own lures in, in plaster. And we're not done yet. Uh, what I I always uh, seal them with uh, with a clear top coat uh, nail polish just to make sure that uh, over time, as I pour the plastic into it, it doesn't stick to it and doesn't. Uh, I, well, yeah, it just doesn't stick into the mold, and so I'll leave this dry for and cure for about 24 hours, then come back tomorrow and uh, and seal it with the the nail polish. Okay, so it's been about 24 hours, and uh, this is now fully cured, uh, hard as can be, hard as a rock. It ain't gonna break unless you drop it on the ground, but uh, we're not planning on doing that. And so now again, uh, what I'll do is I'll take the clear nail polish. Which again, it's like a resin, so it makes it very hard inside and doesn't allow any of the plastic to seep through into the plaster or whatnot. So what I'll do is I'll just pour a very thin coat on the inside. And then a little bit on the outside. Then I'll just take the brush, just make sure it's all in there, all on the tail. Every little crevice and crease where the plastic's going to touch and pour. And then I'll Turn around, make sure to do the same thing on this side. Get everything. And then do a little bit on the outside in case there's a little overpour when I'm pouring the uh, the plastic into here, into these cavities. And don't want it to stick to there. Again, get it, make sure you get all the sides, everything. And generally I'll do, I'll probably end up doing like uh, two or three coats of the nail polish on here just to make sure it's completely sealed and uh, and done. Uh, I usually wait about two or three hours before each coat or after each coat to pour another coat so the whole process of sealing this usually takes between you know four to six hours total and so again the, the whole process does not take a lot of time if you include the you know the waiting time for everything to cure and dry and uh, wait 24 hours before you do the before you do the the sealing and then the time between the sealing and whatnot it's a total of about 30 hours but working time on the plaster itself and working on the actual mold and casting it and whatnot will take only about 12 to 13 minutes 12 to 14 minutes depending on your experience and uh, how, how how you know how good you are with the plaster which again it, it's very user friendly than the plaster the plaster is very easy very user friendly and you could use them for you know over and over and over again. I mean, my, my, my dad showed me how to do this when I, when I was really young and he still uses some of the molds he did, you know, 20, 30 years ago. You just, you know, keep, take good care of them, package them away after you're done using them and they last forever. But uh, hope this was helpful. Uh, again, these are, you know, how I make my, cast my molds and make my, my lures every time. And if you have any questions, definitely, uh, post you know put you know put those notes or those comments down below and i'll respond to uh, as many of them as i can but again thanks for watching and uh, i'll do the uh the resin ones in another video take care